Hey friends, this is Mayank, founder of Arcadev, and today we're going to discuss about dynamic scroll views in iOS. So, guys, why do we need dynamic scroll views? Say if we have some object in our scroll view which is pulling some data from our database, so we cannot figure out that what will be the height of our object. Say if we have an object as text view in our uh, scroll view, then we cannot figure out what will be the height of our text view every time it will be pulling some data from the database. So, let's make a dynamic scroll view. So open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Select single view application and next. Write a product name. I will give it scroll app and next and create. Now go to main dot storyboard and here you need to drag top a uh, UI scroll view. Let's take a UI scroll view and drag it right here and just add some constraint to this scroll view. I will say 0 to top layout, leading, trailing and bottom and add 4 constraints. Now what you want is some content view inside your scroll view which can decide what will be the height of the overall content of our scroll view say if we have a ui view inside our scroll view like ui view let's take a ui view inside our scroll view and set the constraint of our ui view to be 0 0 should also be 0 and this is also 0 add 4 constraints now just drag it somewhat like this now what you want is that this view will act as a content view for you to determine what will the height of the data inside your scroll view say if we have a text view let's first uh, set the constraint of our view and scroll view to be equal width okay now just drag and drop a ui text view for example UI text view and drag it here and just set the constraint to this UI text view according to our content view that is this view let's just change the height of this content view according to our text view let's make sure that uh, the content view does not snap the UI text view and like this now set the constraint for UI text view like 0 up 0 leading trailing and add 4 constraints like, like this now what you need to do next is to unscroll this text view the scroll view property expect you to set the height of a text view so so just uncheck this scrolling enabled and here you go now if you add some more data like let's just copy this and paste just right right away here only like this and i will hit enter then it will automatically change its height according to the content let's and just paste it enter like this and if I do it from this side I'll add some more data and hit enter now it will be managed according to the content let's build and run this and see how our scroll view dynamically maintains or manage the data height so here is our final application and here you can see when we scroll this down it is perfectly fit according to the height of this content let's say we can add some more data to the same text view and see is it able to manage the data or not let's build and run this again and see what happens
here you can see that the scroll view is perfectly dynamic and this is the desired result we want so as far as the method of making that scroll view dynamic is concerned i have seen a lot of ways to make it dynamic but i found that this is the most simplest and easiest way to make it dynamic so just explore this out and if you enjoyed the tutorial please hit the like button down below and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye